Mark Roth was one of the legends Don Johnson rolled through in his final victory of his Hall of Fame career. It came at the 1977 Midas Open. He took down Roth 234-205. And then Marshall Holman in the semifinal match put him away 244-227. And in the finals, he defeated the greatest of them all, Earl Anthony 236-214. Earl led this thing all week, and right. he's supposed to win it. But when you beat him, you're supposed to get two PBA titles. I love that line. He's supposed to get two titles for beating Earl Anthony. Yeah, I mean, I think the most famous picture that I can recall about Don was when he bowled 299 at the 1970 Tournament of Champions Finals. Don was also my coach, and, and he was... He was one of a kind, and with no disrespect to Coach Fred Borden, Coach John Jowdy, Don Johnson was ahead of his time when it came to coaching. He was truly the best. You're not going to tell me his nickname? The Kokomo Kid. I love when you say the Kokomo Kid. I don't know why. All right, we begin. Match number two, Brian Kretzer. A local boy from Dayton. We'll start us off. Drops the opening rack. Very impressive what he's done. Like I said in the first match, Brian Kretzer, known for throwing the big slow curve, has worked for four years on perfecting a straighter shot, using it today. And wouldn't it be crazy he wins his first title throwing the ball straight? Here's Mike Scroggins. He's done very well at the four majors this season. Ninth at the World Championship, 25th at the TOC, 4th at the Masters, and 2nd at last week's U.S. Open. Boy, you would think this would be a big advantage for Mike Scroggins being the only left-hander out there. Goes to Palermo, his goal to bowl full-time on the PBA Tour next season, a win today would get him there. Yep, I asked, we, or we both asked him, hey, if you win, you get the exemption, are you coming over full-time? He said, absolutely. Cleans that one up. <laughs> Brian Kretzer has gone 166 career events without a victory, second most among current exempt players. Big moment for him. And maybe more so for his family. Leaves the 10. I asked him about that streak, and he said, you know, it doesn't even affect me. I've, I've won titles on three continents. I've won some big payday tournaments. That won't define me. You know, if anything, I, I'm, I'm playing for my family. It'll mean more for my mom, mean more for my wife, more for my kids. Scroggins leaves the seven. And the 43-year-old Brian Kresser. Brian does have some good karma in this building. He did win a regional tournament uh, just a couple years ago. It was on the cheetah pattern, but a win's a win. Scroggins has made the last three TV single shows. Cleans up the seven. Oscu Palerma made the telecast today after receiving a commissioner's they exemption to bowl this so. event. And he had great success at the World Series bowl, including the trick shot. How about the two-handed over the chair, shred the rack. Yeah, that's not a 12-pounder. That's a 15-pounder. He's the first player in PBA history to ever make the TV finals after receiving a commissioner's exemption. Do you, do you like the idea that he was given that exemption? Without question. I mean, this guy, prior to coming into this week, bowled in Dubai, where he won. He went from Dubai to Barcelona last weekend during the U.S. Open, went home to Sweden for a day, and then came here. And I'm, if I'm... I'm pretty sure there's not a direct flight from Sweden to Columbus, Ohio. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Red, sir. Face of that one. Again, the low man of these three will be eliminated, and then we'll have our title match. Scroggins, back-to-back spares, Oski, strike spare. I think that broke the speed limit in this neighborhood, that, that shot there. I think I was breaking it as well earlier today. Kretzer down two, picks up the spare. 
Kretzer, this is his third top 15 finish of the season and his second in the top 10. Entered the week 44th place on the PBA point list outside of the cut line for being an exempt player next season on the tour, but this week's outing has moved him in the positive direction. Scroggins looking for his first strike in match number two and finds it in the third frame. I asked Mike Scroggins, I said, Mike, compare this oil pattern to last week's U.S. Open oil pattern. He said, well, kind of felt like I was bowling on a house shot this week. It's amazing. No letdown from his runner-up finish. You know, at some point, Mike's not exactly a spring chicken. You got you to gotta hit the wall. Larima gets a late kick on the seven to drop all ten. And Palerma, he won match number one. He's on top of match number two through three frames. The conclusion of match number two. When we return to Columbus, this is the PBA live on ESPN.